Hey, welcome back to another video here on this channel. And today I want to uh, try to create some kind of a pet and nice textured pet inside the grid from Bitwig. And I'm starting, of course, with a poly grid. And I'm going for an swarm oscillator because it's always nice for pets. And I'm exchanging the envelope to an RDSR. And before I go much further, I'm adding a an modulator, random, turn on bipolar, and the smoothing to 100%. And let's let it run free and modulate the spread value, just a touch. Duplicate this and modulate the pitch offset, just a touch. And yeah, activate more voices, so it would be helpful. To get more um, stereo effect, we add one stereo split, one stereo merge. And between these two, we actually add all pass devices. So one in the left channel, one in the right channel and we use different delays times. And maybe we can modulate these delay times just a touch. And use maybe one of these delay modules here to create this kind of tape effect. Um, random modulator. And it needs to be unipolar. Yes, nice. Okay, that should be good. So let's add, add a filter, um, SVF. Let's leave that at 100% so we have a pitch tracking or key tracking. And maybe use a second filter and mm, mix it together with a with the sum. Mm, let's go for a mixer.
Let's also modulate the frequency of this top notch or uh, bandpass filter. So this would be our first voice. Um, yeah, maybe just reposition all the modules so we're small, like a compact, accessible device. And maybe add another mixer at the end. and go for another oscillator. Let's go for the sine wave and add one of these ADSRs. And go for a an, um, delay, mod delay, because this always sounds nice. Maybe we can use this device again um, to actually... So we have now basically a sine wave running through one mod delay and um, the same structure we used uh, on the top voice uh, with the all pass filters at the left and the right channel so we have more like a wider stereo field. Maybe add some more modulations because modulations are always nice. can see I have no real plan what to create and what to wire up and what to modulate. It's more like a, of a process, right? I try different things, uh, try to uh, come up with some ideas and just stick with stuff that sounds good.
Let's modulate this uh, to LFO, uh, classical one, and let's go for the full range. Make it very slow. Okay, let's try and create some um, some kind of a sequence for a texture on top. And I really like to use one of these gates and one of the pitches here. And um, yeah, let's try a sine wave again. And uh, no, use an envelope again. Turn this off and use the gate signal as an input. Maybe like this. Oh, don't use the... Um, don't, uh, we don't use the pitches because we still want to have all keys available in to, to play. So, and then we have to use, because this is playing all the time, it's a bit annoying. Oh no, it's uh, stopping. Because I changed this to gate. Let's use a face in device. And, um, yeah, let's hook this up. gate in and maybe some logic stuff so um, when we have this uh, let's think about it when we press a key I, I have a use and select So when we press a key, okay, it looks weird because we have now um, multiple voices active, so you don't see the real value for each voice so when we go back to uh, voices of one you see when we press a key we now use the gate uh, signal as an output and when i release the key it's going back to um, the input with the with zero with zero uh, signal so we have no um, signal going into the select So now let's use one of these um, scale scalar devices here. Mm.
Okay, let's duplicate this um, mod delay here again. Maybe use an attenuate to change the volume over time. And use this ADSR here maybe. Or let's use Yeah, let's do this one. Maybe we, we can we can change um, the speed of the um, gate also with this um, with this envelope here. So let's try this. Let's go for twelve. multiple voices.
So now we have a nice um, pad, we have a nice um, layer on top with the sine wave that slowly fades in and a lot of movement with these small particles of sine, uh, sine waves here, with the sine oscillator. And um, I, th I think it sounds pretty okay for this small amount of time. Let's move this here so it's a little bit like Tetris. Yeah, okay. Let's move this here and this here. As you can see, there was no clear path how I create this patch. There was no real grand vision about this. I just started with small uh, modules, an oscillator, then added uh, filters and envelopes and so on. And I tried to uh, move quickly through the patch and add new uh, modules. And when you saw my last video about making decisions in uh, when you create projects, this is the same thing, basically. I try to move quickly through the patch, stay in the moment, and um, yeah, keep adding things until it sounds right. And um, yeah, I think that's it for this video. Um, it's a bit longer than my last videos, but um, I think I do this more often where I just create some stuff and try to talk along the way because it's also um, a small training for uh, yeah making uh, live streams and so on where I usually don't talk that much because I want to be uh, stay in the moment, want to be in my music and um, I usually don't talk that much. But that's some kind of training and I hope you liked it. And um, this patch is also also available in my GitHub repository. I just need um, some kind of name for it. And let's see what I come up with here. Maybe um, Marble Park. Uh, something like this. Yeah. And save it as a pad. Slow, bright, harmonic, layered, noisy. And yeah, let's do this. Yeah, it's available in my GitHub repository. You can download it, use it in your own tracks or play around with it, add some additional stuff or remove some stuff or delete it completely. I don't care, just make, uh, make with it what you want. And yeah, thanks for watching and I see you in the next one. Bye.